Welcome to the Priory Church of St Bartholomew the Great. Founded in 1123, this is London's oldest extant church. And where better to celebrate this service of medieval carols, using some of the best music that has survived from the Middle Ages, interweaved with readings from Wycliffe's Bible. We hope to bring a little bit of the ancient excitement about the birth of Christ into this 21st century. It's been a dark year. That's why we aren't able to hold this service in person. But I hope that this service might prove to be a little light shining in the darkness, wherever you are, whether you're in London or in somewhere else in the United Kingdom, somewhere in Australia or the United States or anywhere in between or around. It's wonderful that we're able to welcome you here among us for this service. And we hope that one day you might be able to come and visit us in person when all of this is over.
Beloved in Christ, be it this Christmas tide our care and delight to celebrate again the birth of Christ and to hear once more the loving purposes of God told to us in music and holy writ and to share with those of the Middle Ages the thrill of the tidings of the birth of this holy child. In this year of plague, let us give thanks for such health as we have been granted, for the friends and families we have been given to love, for the media by which we can share the tales of the many mercies of God and receive in turn the love and amity of our fellow children of God. Let us also remember before him all those who have died, those who are sick and those whose lives have been blighted by illness, the men and women who minister to the sick or who use the gifts endowed to them by their Creator to alleviate the sufferings of mankind. And as this year rolls onwards towards its close, let us commit ourselves anew to serve the whole people of God, to remember once more before him the poor and helpless, the cold, the hungry and the oppressed, the sick and them that mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children, all those who know not the Lord Jesus, or who love him not, or who by sin have grieved his heart of love. Lastly, let us remember before God all those who rejoice with us, but upon another shore and in a greater light, that multitude which no man can number, whose hope was in the Word made flesh, and with whom in the Lord Jesus we are for ever one. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer up to the throne of heaven in the words which Christ himself hath taught us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
And when they heard the voice of the Lord God going in paradise at the wind after midday, Adam and his wife hid them from the face of the Lord God in midst of the trees of paradise. And the Lord God called Adam and said to him, Where art thou? And Adam said, I heard thy voice in paradise, and I dreaded, for I was naked, and I hid me. To whom the Lord said, Who showed to thee that thou were naked? No, but for thou hast eaten of the tree, of which I commanded to thee that thou shouldest not eat. And Adam said, The woman which thou gavest fellow to me, gave me of the tree, and I ate. And the Lord said to the woman, Why didst thou this thing? The witch answered, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. And the Lord God said to the serpent, For thou didst this, thou shalt be cursed among all living things, and unreasonable beasts of earth, thou shalt go on thy breast, and thou shalt eat earth in all the days of thy life. I shall set enmities betwixt thee and the woman, and betwixt thy seed and her seed, she shall break thine head, and thou shalt set ambushes to her heel. Conditor al mesideru, eterna lux credentio, Christe redemptor omnio, ex adipres et supplicu. saw a great light. When men dwelt in the country of the shadow of death, light rose up to them. Thou hast multiplied the nation, thou hast increased their happiness. They shall be glad before thee as they that be glad in harvest, and as overcomers make full out joy when they have taken the prey, when they part the spoils. For sooth a little child is born to us, and a son is given to us, and princehood is made on his shoulder and his name shall be called Marvellous, Counselor, God, Strong, Father of the world to come, Prince of Peace. 
his empire shall be multiplied, and there shall be no end to his peace. He shall sit upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom, so that he can establish it and make it strong in justice, or in judgment and righteousness, from henceforth until forever. The fervent love of the Lord of hosts shall make this happen. Thanks be to God. shall bear child, and the remnants of his brethren shall be turned again to the sons of Israel. And he shall stand, and shall rule them in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall continue in safety and security. For now he shall be magnified until the ends of the earth. Thanks be to God.
But in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God into a city of Galilee, whose name was Nazareth, to a maiden wedded to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the name of the maiden was Mary. And the angel entered to her and said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed be thou among women. And when she had heard, she was troubled in his word and thought what manner salutation this was. And the angel said to her, Dread thou not, Mary, for thou hast found grace with God. Lo, thou shalt conceive in the womb, and shalt bear a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and he shall be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God shall give to him the seat of David his father and he shall reign in the house of Jacob without, and of his realm shall be none end. And Mary said to the angel, On what manner shall this thing be done, for I know not man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Ghost shall come from above into thee, and the virtue of the highest shall overshadow thee, and therefore that holy thing that shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And lo, Elizabeth, thy cousin, and she also hath conceived a son in her old age, and this month is the sixth to her that is called barren, for every word shall not be impossible with God. Forsooth, Mary said, Lo, the handmaiden of the Lord, be it done to me after thy word. And the angel departed from her. Thanks be to God. Angelus ad virginem, sub intra di contare, vigilis formidinem, demos et infinitare. Amere divina virgin, senite reque donino, ansibiet et marie estimata,
And it was done in those days, a commandment went out from Caesar Augustus, that all the world should be described. This first describing was made of Cyrenius, justice of Syria. And all men went to make profession, each into his own city. And Joseph went up from Galilee, from the city of Nazareth, into Judea, into a city of David that is called Bethlehem, for that he was of the house and of the family of David, that he should acknowledge with Mary, his wife, that was wedded to him and was great with child. And it was done. While they were there, the days were fulfilled that she should bear child. And she bare her firstborn son and wrapped him in clothes and laid him in a feed trough, for there was no place to him in no chamber. Thanks be to God. 
Therefore, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judah, in the days of King Herod, lo, kings or wise men came from the east to Jerusalem and said, Where is he that is born the King of Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. But King Herod heard and was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And he gathered together all the princes of priests and the scribes of the people, and inquired of them where Christ should be born. And they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judah, for so it is written by a prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah, for of thee a duke shall go out, and shall govern thy people Israel. Then Herod called privily the kings, and busily learned of them the, of the star that appeared to them. And he sent them into Bethlehem, and said, Go ye, and ask ye busily of the child, and when ye have found, tell ye it to me, that I also come and worship him. And when they had heard the king, they went forth. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood above where the child was. And they saw the star and joyed with a full great joy. And they entered into the house and found the child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and worshiped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they offered to him gifts, gold, incense, and myrrh. Thanks be to God. Et 
In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was at God, and God was the Word. This was in the beginning at God. All things were made by him, and without him was made naught, that thing that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darknesses, and darknesses comprehended not it. A man was sent from God, to whom the name was John. This man came into witnessing, that he should bear witnessing of the light, that all men should believe by him. He was not that light, but that he should bear witnessing of the light. There was a very light, which lighteneth each man that cometh into this world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came into his own things, and his received him not. But how many ever received him? He gave to them power to be made the sons of God to them that believe in his name. The which, not of blood, neither of the will of flesh, neither of the will of man, but be born of God. And the Word was made man, and dwelled among us, and we have seen the glory of him, as the glory of the one begotten Son of the Father, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God.
Maria Virgin. 